Let's embark on a journey of celestial proportions and ponder this hypothetical scenario. Our Earth, the blue jewel of our solar system, is comfortably situated in the third orbit from the Sun, snug within the Goldilocks zone, where conditions are just right for life as we know it. Now let's imagine for a moment that our Earth was not in its familiar third orbit, but instead was placed in the fourth orbit, currently occupied by Mars. Mars, the red planet, sits approximately 50% further from the Sun than Earth. This shift in position would mean a longer journey around the Sun, resulting in a Martian year that spans nearly two of our current Earth years. This thought experiment isn't just a simple game of cosmic musical chairs. If Earth were to occupy Mars's orbit, it would mean a radical overhaul of our planet's environmental conditions, and by extension, the life it harbors. We're talking about a shift that could lead to longer and colder winters, a thinner atmosphere and potentially a radically different evolutionary trajectory for life on Earth. The implications of such a scenario are vast and varied, with potential effects on everything from our climate to the length of our days. It's an intriguing, if not slightly chilling, hypothesis that forces us to question our understanding of our planet and its place in the universe. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's remember that this is just a hypothetical scenario. Our Earth is not on a cosmic journey to Mars orbit. However, by exploring this idea, we can gain a deeper understanding of our own planet, its climate, its orbit, and the delicate balance that allows life to flourish. So buckle up, space travelers. We are about to venture into a world of hypotheticals, scientific conjecture, and thought-provoking questions. We will delve into the Martian climate, the Martian year and day, and even ponder the fate of our beloved moon in this alternate reality. Now let's delve into the scientific implications of this hypothetical situation. Imagine Earth, but in the chillier, more distant orbit of Mars. How would our climate change? Well, let's start with temperatures. At present, Earth's average surface temperature is a comfortable 15 degrees Celsius. But Mars, it averages a frosty minus 80 degrees Celsius. That's colder than the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. So, if Earth were in Mars orbit, you could expect our global temperatures to plummet dramatically. But it's not just about the cold. The Martian year is almost twice as long as an Earth year, which means Earth would experience longer and more extreme seasons. Imagine winter, but twice as long and unimaginably colder. This drop in temperature would likely trigger a planet-wide ice age. The oceans, currently a balmy average of 17 degrees Celsius, would freeze over becoming vast icy plains. The polar ice caps would expand, covering much of the land in a blanket of ice and snow. But what about the biosphere, the global sum of all ecosystems? Well, most life on Earth is adapted to survive within a certain range of temperatures. A sudden drop to Martian levels could cause a mass extinction event. Many species would not be able to adapt fast enough to these harsh new conditions and would sadly perish. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Life on Earth is incredibly resilient and adaptable. Some organisms, like the tardigrade, are capable of surviving in extreme conditions, even the vacuum of space. So, while many species would struggle, others might survive, adapt, and evolve, leading to a completely new era of life on our planet. So there you have it. If Earth were in Mars orbit, our climate would become much colder and harsher, possibly triggering a planet-wide ice age and a mass extinction event. But life, in its endless adaptability, might still find a way to endure these drastic changes. But the climate is not the only thing that would change. Let's explore further. A year on Mars is almost twice as long as a year on Earth. How would this affect our calendar and our concept of time? Well, let's dive in and explore this. A Martian year is approximately 687 Earth days long. That's right, almost double our typical 365-day year Imagine having to wait twice as long for your birthday, or for Christmas. Our calendar would need a complete overhaul to accommodate this longer year, with perhaps more months or longer months. Now let's talk about a Martian day. A day on Mars, or a Sol as it's often referred to, is only slightly longer than an Earth day, clocking in at about 24 hours and 39 minutes. This would mean our days would stretch a little bit longer. You'd have an extra half an hour or so before you need to hit the hay. But over time, these extra minutes would add up. You'd slowly start to feel as if you're living in a different time zone, forever jet-lagged on your own planet. But have you ever considered how our concept of time would change? 
With longer years and days, we'd perceive time differently. Our sense of age might alter. Would we consider ourselves older or younger in this new Martian time frame? And consider the psychological implications. The longer days could affect our sleep patterns, our work schedules, and even our mental health. We'd have to adapt in so many ways. Our biological clocks would need to adjust to the longer days. Our societal norms would need to shift to accommodate the new calendar. It's a fascinating thought experiment, isn't it? But remember, the implications of Earth being in Mars's orbit extend beyond our planet. Time, as we understand it, is a construct based on our current position in the solar system. If that changes, everything changes. And it's not just about us, the inhabitants of Earth. Let's consider our moon. The moon has a significant impact on Earth. But what would happen to it if Earth was in Mars orbit? The interplay between the Earth and the Moon is a delicate dance choreographed by the forces of gravity. The Moon's gravitational pull is responsible for our tides, and its orbit around Earth is a clockwork mechanism that has remained consistent for billions of years. But if Earth was suddenly transported to Mars orbit, the Moon's dance would likely change dramatically. You see, the Moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle, it's an ellipse slightly stretched out, and the Earth isn't at the exact center. This means the distance between Earth and the Moon changes as the Moon moves along its orbit. If the Earth was in Mars orbit, the increased distance from the Sun could potentially stretch out this elliptical orbit even more. The Moon would be farther from Earth at its farthest point, and closer at its closest. The changes in the Moon's orbit would have significant effects on our planet. For one, the tides on Earth would change. The gravitational tug of the Moon is what causes our high and low tides. If the Moon was farther away, its gravitational pull on Earth would be weaker, leading to smaller tides. Conversely, when the Moon is closer, its gravitational pull would be stronger, causing higher tides. This could lead to more dramatic shifts between high and low tides, potentially impacting coastal ecosystems and human settlements. At the same time, the Moon itself would also be affected. A more elliptical orbit could mean more drastic temperature changes on the Moon's surface. These temperature shifts could have implications for the Moon's geology and any future attempts at lunar colonization. In essence, the Moon's dance with Earth would become a bit more complicated. It's a fascinating thought experiment, one that underscores the interdependence of celestial bodies and the delicate balance of our solar system. As we've seen, the implications of Earth being in Mars's orbit are far-reaching and complex. What if scenarios can be intriguing, but they also reveal the delicate balance of our solar system? In our exploration today, we've journeyed through a hypothetical scenario. Imagining Earth in Mars orbit, we've considered the Martian climate colder and harsher than our own. We've acknowledged the lengthier Martian year and day, disrupting our familiar 24-hour cycle, and we've pondered the fate of our Moon, a faithful companion potentially lost to the vastness of space. These points underscore the vital truth that Earth exists in a sweet spot within the solar system, a balance that allows life to flourish. This precarious equilibrium is a testament to the intricate cosmic dance that keeps our world in harmony. It's a reminder of the importance of understanding our place within the cosmos, of appreciating the delicate balance that has allowed life to thrive on our beautiful blue planet. In the grand scheme of the universe, our Earth's position is just right for us. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life.